All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back at it at the Tesla, the Model X. As you guys saw last time, we got the Tesla, but we did not do the frame. So we reached out to 23rd Garage, Yuri and Nathan came out and uh, they helped us out. A uh, big shout out to them. Also, if you guys wanna see that video of how they did it, cause it actually took them two days to get this thing knocked out and there was a lot of work. We'll leave a link down below and you guys definitely need to check it out cause they did a really good job. But the next thing is to do is to take it apart and we have to finish a little bit of welding because we put some panel bond on it and we can't weld right away. So today we're gonna weld, we're gonna take apart what we what they kind of did and then we're probably going to jam out the after we weld we're going to grind bondo we're going to primer and hopefully we're going to jam out the fender and the door and we are not going to take off the back door because the gaps are set pretty good and i don't want to mess with it again so pretty much let's hook up the battery let's open up the doors and uh check out what they did look at that air filter so this is the cabin air filter um really big i probably the biggest one i've seen i think semi trucks are smaller than this but I guess they want fresh air inside, you know? Wow. But there's a little battery inside right here, which we have to disconnect for the welding purposes. But now we're gonna connect them back together and uh, get these doors to open. Portable jump box right there. Just literally a battery with cables. Whoops, close. There we go. Look at that. So Yuri definitely did a good job because it's opening. The gap's looking good. Um, I'm pretty sure we have to recalibrate this door again. So let's jump inside, recalibrate the door, and get them to open. Let's get this one to close. Let's see. Nice. Sound good. All right, guys. So we're inside the Tesla, and uh, we have our custom... Lowe's bucket, it comes in handy. It does a lot of work for us. And uh, you know, it's looking good. I think we have to get this thing to turn on. And um, then we have to calibrate the rear doors and they're gonna open. So we're still trying to figure things out. All right, so the system's finally booting up. Um, you know, it's, it's a computer, so it takes a while to uh, get it going. But it's, it's loading up. It says we have 112 miles left in battery, so it's, it's not bad. It's almost a little bit under halfway of battery charge for the main battery. So we should have enough to at least drive off the frame. But uh, it's still loading. So here's the car. It says calibration needed. So I'm going to hit calibrate. The rear doors are opening. They're closing. And just like that, the calibration is done. So we should be able to just hit this button. Mm -hmm. Nope, that's your door. <laughs> so we'll close that. This one. And there it goes. Wow. Oh yeah, sensing the pole right there, no problem. Sweet. So I'll just open this door and then uh, we can unscrew it. Take it off, take off the fender, and start welding. We need to disconnect the battery. So watch out, Michael. Take it. Nice. Looking good. Take the battery back off. Now the doors are open. We definitely don't want to fry anything in the Tesla. All right, so we got the front door off, we got the fender off, it's looking a lot better, kind of what we had it almost. But uh, pretty much right here is the little weld we have to do with aluminum. And once we get that aluminum, we can grind it down, put a little filler on it. We can uh, clean up all this residue that kind of squeezed out, the panel bond, it's not a big deal. Also, we got a little scratch right here, because this thing was glued on. It was, I'm surprised how old, I'm surprised how Yuri got it without damaging this panel because it was glued on really well. He took his time. 
he got it you know separated which is really good for me a lot of minimum body work for me but uh up here we have to aluminum weld here and then in the back we have to do steel welding so i think i might do the steel welding first in the back get that welded up nicely let it cool off and i'll start doing the aluminum welding over there we definitely have to cover everything up with our welding blanket but i think i think maybe in 30 minutes to an hour we should be done which is not too bad considering how much work was involved with all this well let's just get straight to it and knock this thing out So there we go, we got it welded. We grinded it down, it's looking really good. Next thing we wanna do is get some body filler. And since we don't need that much, we're gonna use some finishing putty and we're gonna sand it down and get it ready for primer.
right, so there we go. We got pretty much some body filler on the panels and it's looking really good. We got some guide coat on there. So we, when we know when we're gonna sand, we're gonna know when everything looks good. So pretty much we're gonna let this get drying. Next thing I wanna do is actually, we are going to sand down the fender. We're gonna jam out the fender and the door. So we started trimming it slowly while we're waiting for the body filler to dry. So now we're gonna have to scuff everything and get ready for paint. Let's get to it. So it's actually the next day. The last time pretty much what we got done was we stripped down the door and there was a lot of stuff in there. Now the door weighs like five pounds. It's completely aluminum. Everything is out of there. So now we're ready to start painting and we're pretty much gonna jam out everything and then blend everything out of the car finally. But we will paint everything. So we're gonna put sealer on it first and then we're gonna put base coat and then we're gonna put pearl and then clear coat. So this is pretty much a two-stage paint job and uh, hopefully it's gonna be nice and quick. We're gonna knock it out and uh, keep getting this Tesla done. So let's get straight to it and get that sealer down.
All right, guys, just like that, we got it painted. It's looking really good. I'm really happy with it. Who knows, maybe it'll match and we'll just leave it on there and just paint the rear door and we're good to go. But probably now we're gonna have to do a blend, but uh, look at it. It's, I mean, it's looking good. Oh yeah, real good. Sometimes I think I try too hard, but it's looking good. But pretty much that's all the time we have for this episode, you guys. Stay tuned, we're gonna keep working on this Tesla. We gotta pretty much paint the inside the door jam, inside the other door, because we're not taking that door off. That's gonna be a lot of sanding, painting, taping, a lot of things. But thanks for staying tuned. We'll catch you guys next time.